My name is Ted Wright, and my company is called Fizz, and we are in Decatur. The secret to word of mouth, word of mouth marketing is really what is your story, and how are you going to share it with all? How are you going to get your brand fans to share it with all of their friends? So a story has four elements that make it work. It's interesting to the influencer, that one person in ten that tells the other nine what to buy about everything. It's relevant to the influencer's audience because an influencer cares greatly about the reaction it has with other people. And it, and it has to be authentic. It has to be the way people currently understand either the brand itself or the category in general. So if it's interesting, relevant, and authentic, and it passes the who really cares test, then you know you have a story that has legs. Then the next step in making word of mouth marketing work is creating opportunities for a brand's fan, a, a brand's fans, thank you, brand's fans, ladies and gentlemen, a brand's fans, to share that story with as many people as possible. So for us, social media is really defined as two tools because nothing else really sells more stuff. So it's about Twitter and Facebook. We really enjoy Facebook in our office much more than we enjoy Twitter because it helps us sell more stuff. And the reason it does that is because it most closely mimics conversation. Right? The problem with Twitter is really a design problem that you know you got to scroll through and you miss stuff. Uh, Facebook doesn't have that problem. Facebook, you can have now, technically speaking, sometimes it's referred to as asynchronous conversation. So when I'm in Mandela and my wife writes me a note on Facebook or somebody, I might be 19 hours getting back to them or I'm traveling so I miss something. But it pops up and I see it. So for us, social media is a tool. It's, I, and I know, and I'm not to be harsh or mean, but it's a little bit like going up to a, um, a carpenter and saying, what do you think about hammers? I think they're awesome as a carpenter. The, 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 question, the question that we all are asking ourselves now and we're all getting to is, hey, carpenter guy, how are you going to use this hammer to help solve my problem? That's really the question that all of us agency people are trying, always trying to answer and all the really smart brand people are asking. So here's a couple other tips, things that don't count. Twitter followers do not count. Nobody cares. In fact, there's a guy named Jay Barrett, he and I were sharing the stage, he said, the only reason people care about how many Twitter followers you have is because other people know how many Twitter followers you have. If you actually published your ROI or you published your other things that actually made a difference and everyone else did, that's what everyone would be going for. Another thing that doesn't matter, and Facebook will tell you this as well, there's a really interesting Irish guy that's traveling around the country with this story. Anything over 123 followers, you're not affecting any of those people. You really have three classes of followers. You have four followers that you would give a kidney to or they would give a kidney to you. You have nine total followers that you would look after their children or they would look after your children. Everybody else is just a friend. Anything over 123, you're not really affecting them at all. You never interrupt somebody. You never call somebody at 6.30 in the afternoon and say, can I talk to you about your Atlanta Journal Constitution subscription? Back for those in the front row, there used to be something called newspapers. <laughs> and you cut down trees and trucked around, it's completely ridiculous. And for those of us who are of age, I actually read a newspaper the other day because I was on an airplane and I didn't have Wi Fi. That was a completely weird experience. I was holding this thing, I was like, how much waste and effort did it take to do this versus just having you know my little ones and zeros in my phone? PR is important. Raise your hand if you're a PR professional. Love you all because you all create opportunities for earned media, and earned media makes the story go one more revolution. If somebody is if an average story is told four times, it's told it's repeated 24 times. If an average story is repeated seven times, you start to look at between seven depends on exactly how you're doing it between 17,000 and 40,000 retellings. Okay, so the order, the, the difference in how fast you get to that curve is all because of how quickly the conversation gets shared and what the quality of that conversation is. So that's why when you're doing a word about marketing program, you spend a ton of time up front on the story, and then you spend all of your time, I need to create one more conversation. Because an influencer, Parker Gamble will tell you that a single influencer is worth a million brand-specific conversations within that person's social sphere within a year. All right, so we got a million conversations, Per person, we've got 10% of the population that can do that, but we've got a sell-through rate of between a fifth and everything. Thus, the power of word of mouth.